Today I got a very quick and very simple tutorial for you on how to create a very basic camera flash glow type of transition in DaVinci Resolve and I mainly use this transition for the music festival after movies that I added when I want to introduce multiple characters or when I'm working for DJs and there's a very quick cut sequence I use that to spice up the edit just a little bit. So in Resolve, first of all, we need an adjustment clip. So all you gotta do is come up to your effects library in the top left corner, come down to where it says effects and grab the adjustment clip and drag it onto your timeline just like so. And once we've done that, we wanna determine the length of our transition. And I usually keep mine between three and six frames, but that is totally up to you. You can make it longer or shorter if you want to. I'm just gonna go forward in my timeline, just a couple of frames, just like so. And then I'm gonna make a cut right here and I'm gonna delete the end. Now I wanna bring the adjustment clip over so that it overlaps with the first frame of the second clip, just like so. Now highlight the adjustment clip and come over into the fusion tab and right now with the media in one selected we want to hit shift spacebar and type in glow and just add the glow node on frame zero we want to set a keyframe in the inspector on glow size and on glow and set everything back to zero. Then we wanna to come to the last frame of our transition, which in this case is frame seven right here. And I'm gonna drag the slider all the way up, just like so. So basically we have a white screen at the end. Then we wanna come up to spline, open the spline window, select glow one, hit the zoom to fit button, highlight both of those keyframes and hit S on our keyboard. Then once you've done that, you could either leave it like that or you could highlight the glow and glow size just select the bottom keyframe, again hit the zoom to fit button, just drag this out like so, then grab the upper handle and drag this down to create a nice curve, and then do the same thing for the glow size and just try to match those curves as best as possible. And once you've done that, we can go back to the edit page, hit play, and this is how the transition looks. It's just a very basic camera flash glow type of transition. And if you wanna store it, just come up to your media pool right here, hit the three dots right here, and then select show power bins if you don't see them already, and grab the adjustment clip to right here. And then we can rename this to, let's go with glow and then seven frames like that. And now you can reuse this transition over and over again, just like so. And speaking of transitions, Motion VFX has just released a new plugin, M Transition Film Roll for DaVinci Resolve. And this plugin is jam packed. We're talking about 50 customizable drag and drop film roll transitions that you can use to spice up your videos. And if you want to take a look at the transitions yourself, I highly suggest you click the link in the description below this video because Motion VFX offers a preview of each and every single one of those 50 transitions on their website. Some of my personal favorites are the punch hole transitions. And the best part is this plugin currently is on sale for $59 only so if you want to get this plugin now is the best time to do so but anyways I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna see you next time bye